COVID-19 left a lot of us with COVID-15. And if you're looking for some help getting rid of some of those stubborn bulges, they've got help here at Evolution Body Transformation. We're going to talk about a procedure a little bit later. It's not invasive and it's FDA approved. So I'll stick around for that. Right now, though, we're meeting with Megan Stern. She's the development specialist with Dane by Local. Nice to see you, Megan. Hi there. Hi. Thanks for coming on. Thanks. Dane by Local, they do a lot for our local business, our local economy. Uh, I know that your business is uh, educating people, collaborating, promoting small businesses. And you've got an event coming up. I want you to tell us a little bit about this next event that you're hosting. Thank you. I'm excited about it. It's mm -hmm. called Eat Local, Give Local. And we have over 600 members in Dane by Local, and I would say probably a third of them are food and beverage industry. And so we try to focus our events to meet the community's needs, but also to meet our businesses' needs. And this one helps to drive people out. You know, I think that's happening. People are mm -hmm. getting out again, which is really great. People are feeling comfortable going to restaurants. Um, however, COVID brought up a whole different type of of food and beverage industry, a lot of food carts, a lot yeah. of in-home businesses, a lot of ghost kitchens, community kitchens. And so this year we're not, we're focusing less on the concept of restaurants and more on just food and beverage businesses. Oh, cool. And so it's a one day event. Mm -hmm. Nothing is super non-intensive for our businesses, which is really helpful as well. Mm -hmm. um, we just encourage the community to go out and eat or buy beverages or drink, whatever, from morning till night, however many <laughs> times, <laughs> once, doesn't matter, coffee to drinks at the end of the day, um, to yeah. go to these local restaurants and businesses, um, just to so show support. Mm -hmm. So would you say then kind of the goal of the event would be just so people are more aware of all these other kind yes. of restaurants and like you said, ghost kitchens and food trucks? Yes, yeah. it's absolutely. And you know, in our some of our publishing, we've been calling it just kind of a rally, just to <laughs> rally yeah. people to not just go to the chains, to go to these private individual restaurants who got grants during COVID even oh. and are running out of that grant money. And now we're like, they're on their own feet and they really just need people to recognize they're there, to show their support. And it overlaps with Black Restaurant Week, which is really nice because they're the Madison mm -hmm. Black Chamber is a member and some of our businesses on our list are shared list people oh, on the nice. same list. So it's kind of a good timing as well. Yeah. So I went to your website and on the website, if you're interested in partaking in this, there's a list right there of all the restaurants, all the businesses that are um, part of this event that we're hoping that you go patronize. What's the date for that? It is on Thursday, August 18th. August okay. 18th, okay. And all the, yes, there's over 40 businesses at this point, and we will probably still get businesses in up until the day of, which is usually what happens. So if you're a business owner right now and you just want to put your name on that list, there is no cost to you to be part of it. Okay. The Give Local piece of Eat Local, Give Local is 10% of sales for those businesses that day come back to Dane by Local as a fundraiser so that oh, we can yes. push back into the community. And this is something we spend over $10,000 in promotional and marketing on. It's one of our biggest investments of the year. Mm -hmm. um, we're on the Metro bus boards. Um, we're kind of all over social media. We put a lot of time and energy into promoting because it's free, essentially 10%, I guess it's not free, but um, publicity for all of these restaurants yeah. and businesses and stores. Yeah. And like you said, so if somebody wants to try someplace new or something yep. a little bit different and step out of their, their box, so to speak, this exactly. would be a perfect day to do that. It's like a give, give situation. Yes, right? it is. Yeah. It's a beautiful new little coffee shop in Stoughton. And like, mm -hmm. that would be a great place. Just yeah. go see her and mm -hmm. she's doing a great job, but start your day there and and your day at working draft beer. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. You got to eat and drink anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well do it and, and have a little fun. Like Lee was saying, it's, it's, it mm. is fun to learn yeah. about new places, to try places. And then you also have that feel good of being local. Yes, Supporting exactly. local and being local. Mm -hmm. You mentioned businesses that are um, part of your organization. If they were interested in joining, what is involved? And talk a little bit about that and the benefits of Joining by local? Yes. Um, the benefits are, uh, Lee had mentioned, we work to really educate when there's gaps in education for business owners. Lots of times someone starts a business because they're super passionate about something and they can make that business super successful until they reach the level of their passion. And then maybe they don't know how to do accounting or maybe they're struggling with marketing mm -hmm. or something in their organization breaks and they need they don't know have or have the resources to fix it they that's where we step in and we do the research 
for the businesses. We do the support. We connect them as much as we can, which is where the collaboration mm -hmm. comes in. Also, we just work as hard as we can to promote our local businesses through events through the year, but also we have several newsletters, um, social media presence, which is growing. We're bringing on two young interns um, starting nice. next week to help mm -hmm. us. So, yeah, and we work, we try and work as with as many area businesses as possible too, like all the um, chambers in the area. Mm -hmm. So we try and correlate and share that. Oh, and that is so nice too when you're a business coming in and being a member of Dane by Local. Like you said, it's kind of like a community it is family, a very, yep. so to speak, where I can ask you questions and vice versa. Yes. And it's it's just so nice to have all those resources and that yeah. feeling of security. Megan, thanks for coming on today. Thank you. We've got to run to break. So yes. go to their website, danebylocal.com, to learn more. Otherwise, Thursday, August 18th, eat, drink, be merry, buy local, think local, and be local. We'll be right back.